What's up everyone? Vincent here from Hidden Gems, this time with the artist Jay-Z and his album Reasonable Doubt, his rap career debut. Uh, from the jump, Jay-Z comes out swinging. All the songs had great lyrical content and didn't feel like any song was really forced on his debut landmark album. And you can tell from this album going forward where his career was basically going to go, just from what he was saying, how he was portraying what he wants to say and everything about it and the production on this record was really really good uh, loved all the beats there was a few beats here and there I was like okay this is good but for the majority loved every beat and the producers that came through were Ski Beats, DJ Premier, Clark Kent, DJ Irv and Peter Panic so loved everything about the production and then just Jay-Z again coming out swinging um, just going out with a great flow and you can really tell where Jay-Z was headed after this debut and what he has become today. So again, love this album front to back, but these are the songs that I like the most when it came to this record. For the singles, loved Feeling It featuring Mecca. Um, Jay-Z really comes out on point with this flow and just like the, 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 the song meaning with everything about it. Just like enjoying what you can, jam out with your friends from all the work that you're doing and just feeling it. Just a great flow here from Jay-Z and a nice feature from Mecca and then the other single Dead Presidents 2 um, Thrill of Chasing Money is always going to be a topic on most hip hop or rap artist songs or records in general but the way that Jay-Z had his flow on this one made it a different feel on it and love the beat here from Ski Beats as well for the hidden gems of the less known songs I liked Brooklyn, Brooklyn's Finest featuring Notorious B.I.G. on this one I like the back and forth between Jay, so instead of it being like uh, just a verse here, a verse here, which was the beginning, but at the end they were like rapping back and forth, just talking and going over everything like that. So liked that whole back and forth between the two, and the beat was amazing on this as well. Other track I liked as well was The Evils. Uh, another great beat, this time from DJ Premier. Love the song thing in regards to how to make money and and how just while you're doing that it could cause some issues and hurt those that you care about the most uh, Jay-Z Jay was real smooth on this as well and it's just again another great flow from Jay-Z just to keep the song moving with a great beat to back it also liked 22 twos love the beat on here as well Jay-Z's flow is smooth and just takes over the track with the smooth beat uh, kind of find it funny that Ski Beats did not generally like the beat for this song right here but I enjoyed it, thought it had a good bounce, but he was trying to tell Jay-Z to pick another beat, but I feel like Jay-Z picked the right one and definitely had a great flow with this song. Next song is Can I Live? Like this, and the line I like the most off this song was, I'd rather die enormous than live dormant, that's how we on it. Like that line a lot, and it just speaks volumes, just being like, do what you can to be as big as you can, instead of just choosing the coast in, not not really the coast in life but instead of trying to become large you just kind of fall into the working class right there nothing wrong with falling into the working class but everyone has bigger dreams and bigger aspirations to make it to the top and this is kind of the song I felt like really pushed it forward especially with that line I'd rather die enormous than live dormant so love that line from Jay-Z there and again just another upfront song from him and then the last song which actually surprised me is the song Regrets. So this is like a Jay-Z reflection on some things that he wish he could redo or change how he did. And usually songs like this come later on in an artist's career, whether it's rap, rock, or anything where they're like, okay, I did do some things where it did hurt some people and this is kind of my apology, which is usually again later on in a career, but for Jay-Z to put this on a debut, and just to kind of say, like, I did some things that I do regret and I wish didn't affect some people, but just re really, really surprised that this is on a debut and it was a really, really good song, too. So just loved it all from beginning to end. Again, would recommend listening to this whole record front to back. But the singles I liked again are Feeling It featuring Mecca, Dead Presidents 2, and then the hidden gems were Brooklyn's Finest featuring Notorious B.I.G., The Evils. 22s, Can I Live, and Regrets. 
And as always, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave other comments for other artists you want me to dive into. If you have some rap artists or hip-hop artists from back in the day, like 80s or later, feel free to leave a comment. I want to dive more into the older stuff that made the artists that we enjoy today, like Jay-Z and all of them like that, kind of give them some inspiration as to what they wanted to do. So I want to dig into those deeper rap artists as well. But... This video again was about Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt. Listen all the way through. And as always, like and subscribe to the like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more updates. Thanks guys.